Hello, welcome to Tactical Crafts. Today I'm going to show what I know about the basics on cracking a whip. Uh, this particular crack called the Cattleman's Crack looks something like this. Now there are uh, a couple of misconceptions about whip cracking in general. One is that people say it's all in the wrist, and it's not. This crack and a lot of others have absolutely nothing to do with the wrist and all to do with the elbow and the shoulder. The second one is that you need to crack a whip somehow like, like that. And that's not good either because it's inconsistent and more importantly, it can fly back and hit you in the face as best demonstrated in the third Indiana Jones movie where young Indy slashed himself right across the chin. So that's not good either. Um, and then the third one is that people will put way too much force into it, especially on its way on your way back down, something like that. And that's not good because you're gonna damage your whip and it again, it's inconsistent. What you want to do is you want to put just as much force coming back down as you are when you're bringing it up behind you. Um, and the basic movement is just a smooth motion behind you. Oh, that was bad. Uh, a smooth motion behind you and back down. Like, uh, ba basically, it's just a reverse of itself. So you just bend your arm like this, let the whip go all the way behind you, sort of creating a little loop, and then coming back down. And uh, some people will talk about the rollout of the whip, how uh, how good a loop it creates when it's when it's doing something like that. And that's because in almost every whip crack that there is, the whip will create a loop and then keep rolling, 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 until you reach this point and it creates that nice, satisfying cracking sound. So, again, with this motion, come behind. And that's all the motion is. You just come behind. And um, the, the point at which you come back, where you bring the whip all the way behind you, and then bring backwards with your elbow. Most of the motion's in the elbow, a little bit in the shoulder. So you come behind and then bring it with the elbow. The point at which you do that varies according to the size and the weight of the whip, as does how much force you put into it. So I can't exactly tell you how much force you need to do. That's where experimentation comes in. Just play around with it. And like with a lighter whip, you're gonna wanna put a bit more force into it. With a heavier whip, like this whip weighs almost a pound. With a heavier whip, oh, and it's got a longer handle, so that's another thing. So with a heavier whip, you're gonna wanna put less force into it. Just kinda let the whip do the work for it. So you notice, notice how I'm not doing any, any jerky movements and how I'm not going like, grr, grr. That's, that's no good because I'm just gonna tire myself out and wake up with an ache and uh, tear up the whole front of my whip. So, so just repeat this steady motion. You can even do it really slow just to get the motion down if you want. To. And eventually you'll find that it becomes quite easy and you can get your whip cracked just about every time. Uh, several important details to make sure that you crack your whip well is to make sure that you have a long enough fall that you have a good cracker on the end because this will make the crack sound better and sometimes it's the difference between whether you actually get a crack or not. And um, probably the last thing I'd have to say about this is that this is the foundation for every other advanced crack like the uh, overhead or, uh, or the flick like this which is the Indiana Jones whip, whip flick. That's, a, that's actually the first one I learned. I learned that one before I learned the Callan's crack which is unusual but hey that it was I thought it was cool so anyway that's about all I have to say thank you for watching please subscribe like the video and leave a comment if you found this helpful I'll be posting more whip tutorials and whip cracking tutorials and I'll see you next time